Yo, welcome to another video. I'm Wonder and Logic. I go by Wonder Online. Today I'm going to go through Sketch Temba, which was hosted by Istabrak on her Discord. And like any Sketch Temba, you are given prompts and you go through them day by day. Obviously, I didn't do that. Sometimes I did three, sometimes I did two, sometimes I was about a week behind and I caught up. But the main point is that I completed everything in September. And here are the results. So the first prompt was hiding in the sunflowers, which I, quick, I quite like. I think it's very nice. None of these have been coloured, they've only been sketched and then outlined. The next prompt was Priestess Asleep in a Temple. Obviously you can tell it's a Priestess by that rosemary. Followed by Rabbit in his Garden. This was day three. A very simple concept. Next one is Making a Reef. I did a How to Make a Reef. Just little things that you would need to make one. Point five is Torchlight Through a Forest with a little cartoony. Number six is Spider Hiding from the Rain. Just a little spider under an umbrella and panda in the alleyway. Point seven is Flying a Kite. So a cloud on a little flowery mountain hill, sort of Mario inspired, and he's flying his little kite. Number eight is Swamp House. Doesn't look much like a swamp, but the thought is there. Number nine, book one. Recipe is for the aesthetic, and he's taken a little bite out of it. Or a giant mind, either way. Number 10 is oil lamp, just like that. Very simple, I found the image on Google and this is the result. Number 11, a well dressed frog, sage bird, just him in his little suit. Hide in the hands, can't draw a hand, no feet, what are feet? Number 12 is holding a candle. Just like that. Number 13 is a wizard drinking tea. I use the reference for that. Number 14. Floating books, just a book, stuff, another book's floating. Very simple. Number 15 was a carriage in the forest. I struggled with this, but I really like the way it turned out. A bit crooked, but I do like it. Number 16, shadow puppets. Also very cool. Number 17 is a tree house. I quite like it. I like simplicities. Um, number 18. Ooh, Apothecary Fox. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Number 19. A gnome sneaking out of the garden. Just him dodging under the window. Looks uh, long limbs. We have the glove hands and the booties. Number 20 is an owl reading a book. Who's As I was saying, whose owl knows how? I thought that was quite smart. Number 21 is picking apples. Just a floating hand with a floating basket of a floating tree. Easy. Number 22. Bid Dwarf. Obviously, nothing connects. I quite like this. 
Both of hands, both of feet, flipping everything for the mountains. Number 23 is Amulet. I like the perspective on this. Even though it's not correct, I still like it. Number 24, braided hair. Not that the braid looks like a braid, but it looks like something. Um, braids are in. Number 25 is a mortar and pestle. Again, hopefully I pronounced that right. I don't often say these words. There we are. Number 26, thorns. Number 27, lovers by moonlight. Just cats. Two cats, two flowers. Moonlight, looks nice. Number 28, is a raven delivering a letter. I also quite like this. To be fair, I like most of mine. I don't particularly hate any art I do, which might seem big headed, but if I don't like it, who's going to like it? You know? Number 29 is Trees with Faces, inspired by the great Deku tree from The Legend of Zelda. And then last but not least is Day 30. And this is a scarecrow. And there we are. That was my September of 2023. I did enjoy doing these prompts, although some of them were a bit stressful. But at the end of the day, it's the trying that counts. So what if you get a bit wrong, you get a bit squiff. Either way, as long as you had some fun, you learned to use a couple of things, it's all good. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.